in the last two videos, we've installed GeoServer into a Windows server using Tomcat as the servlet engine. Then we configured that GeoServer so that IIS could use it so that its traffic could actually pass through port 80 from that IIS and redirect it to the Tomcat running on port 8080. So here I am on a workstation and what I'd like to do is try out some of the default items that are included with GeoServer just to make sure things are working. I'm going to be using QGIS to do this and making requests for WFS and WMS. And this is just really to make sure it's working as well as just give an introduction of some of the basics that would be available as soon as you deploy it. Now inside of GeoServer there's three main things that are associated with the data that are getting shared by it. Workspaces, stores, and layers. Workspaces are sort of like a namespace and it's a container that organizes items. And a workspace is often used to group similar layers together. A store connects to a data source and that data could be raster or vector. It can also be a file, a group of files, a file database, a single raster file, or even a directory. So this is what's actually pointing at the data. And a layer is a raster or vector data set that represents a collection of geographic features. So this could be raster or vector data and all layers inside of uh, here have a source of data which is the store and each layer is also associated with the workspace in which the store is defined so each one of these things is interlinked with each other so we're going to explore this a little bit more and take a look at it in particular under the layers, there is an easy way to take a look at the data. And you can see right here, for example, this Manhattan data is all part of Tiger, which is the workspace because it's Tiger data from US Census. And it's pointing at the New York City store, NYC store. So it even, it shows you where the data are located as well as what workspace they're actually coming from. Now, if you want to take a look at this, it's really easy. Just go up to layer preview, choose the layer you'd like to take a look at. And there's a couple of different ways to do it. One is you can select a specific format to take a look at, or you can choose the open layers option here. And I'm going to choose that. Now, one of the reasons why that didn't work is because we don't have the proper proxy set. Because we're passing through, we need to tell GeoServer about that proxy, which is easy. So in global here, we just need to make sure this is set. So the proxy base. And so this way it knows that it's going to be passing through this URL to be able to get that URL. Otherwise you'll have local host in here and it won't work. So we can go back now and let's go for a layer preview and let's pick the roads and let's pick a particular type. We'll just pick a PNG of 8-bit and we'll take a look at what the content look like. And there you go. So now we have a request. That request came through and you can see it's a WMS request of the get layers. So you can do that with all of these and take a look at the different items. And there's lots of different formats that are available. This also gives you a hint of the URLs on how they would work. But let's actually give GeoServer a try using QGIS. So we'll load up QGIS here. And we'll start up a new project. And what we're going to do is add these OGC types from the GeoServer directly into QGIS. In this case, what we'll do is we're going to add a new layer. And we're going to add it as a WMS type. Now this dialog has lots going on. I've already created a connection to this and we'll edit this. 
And so you can see I've named it this. Here's my URL. And the URL is a little bit different. You have to tell it the type of data that you're going to be grabbing. In this case, it's going to be WMS type. I'm not having any of this data secured. And I'm even passing through without uh, S. Move the dialog up a little, click OK. OK, so that's our, um, our data connection. And now we should be able to connect and we'll be able to see the data that are on that server. And you can see there's many different default data sets that are available. So we're going to add our Tiger New York data. And we can add that to the current map. And here's our data set coming into QGIS, which we can zoom into. It has some cartography associated with it. These are individual images. That's what WMS does. It's a web map service. In this case, it's downloading as an individual image. So every time we do a new request, GeoServer is creating a new image for it. You can do identify as well. And this will open the data. It'll show all the different items that are for it. The user does not have access to the actual data. And the cartography that was uh, that is being shown here is actually coming from GeoServer itself. Let's remove this one. And this time let's add it as a WFS, which are features themselves. Therefore, I'll have more control over the cartography. So under layer, add layer, this time we're going to do add WFS layer. I don't have a connection this time, so I'm going to have to create a new one. And you have to type the name of the server in here. And sorry, that's just the name, GeoServer. And my URL. Type the full URL, make sure you include the WFS portion because that's the, the data type that we're going to be getting. Click OK, we can connect. And now we can see all of the individual layers. Now this one's gonna be different because the WFS does not provide cartography, it only provides the data. So it's gonna be QGIS's job to download the data and take a look at it. So let's just do one layer. Let's take Manhattan Roads. Add that to my map. And this will download the roads and actually display them. And you'll see them come in much like a shapefile, for example, is being opened because it's actually downloading each individual element. And this one, same idea, we can zoom in and out. But the advantage now is the data are already streamed to my desktop. So I have a lot more capabilities on it and things will be much quicker now. So these are vectors streamed to the client. That's what WFS is doing. Now I've switched computers and I've gone to the server that is hosting GeoServer. I'm just gonna show you where that data are coming from. So on the C drive, Tomcat GeoServer, and it's under web apps and here's the GeoServer. So this is the server we installed GeoServer on, so it's actually hosting the data. So you can see under data here, now this is data for GeoServer itself. It's everything that has to do with GeoServer. It's not just GIS data. But under data here, you can see there's a couple of different folders. And this is what the store is pointing at. In this case, it's New York City. And you can see Tiger Roads listed right there. Now this data is included as part of the basic GeoServer. It's there to do exactly what we've done just to be able to try things out. In another video, I'll show you how to add your own data and host it on GeoServer. Thanks.